Well, Annette, these are some of my favourite animals. I love <laughs> guinea pigs. Tell me about these two girls here. Well, this is Bubble and this is Squeak. Um, and what we tend to do um, when we get guinea pigs in, if they're sort of one, two, even perhaps three years old, we put them up for rehoming. But if they're sort of over that, then they become residents because a lot of people don't want a, a, an elderly guinea pig, which is quite understandable. So they all live happily here at the moment. We've got eight females and four males. Aww. And um, guinea pigs make a better pet for children. So they don't tend to be as neglected as rabbits because people get rabbits for their child and then rabbits can be quite, um, well, can be nasty or cause some sort of scratching or biting. And then the, the rabbit is just left and really neglected. But we have found that most of the guinea pigs we've had in um, have been fine. You know, they've come because they're unwanted anymore. The children have grown up. We have had cases where they've come in, in pretty poor condition, um, but it's not as common as with rabbits. Well, these two are in lovely condition. Yes. This one's nestling into yes. me there. And you've also got other guinea pigs here who are up for rehoming. We have, yes, yes. They're only 18 months old, so three males. Um, we did home the one male to go with another male, but um, he was fighting with him because males are much more difficult to put together than females. Females just get on with it, have a chat, and, <laughs> and like they're humans, fine. I yeah, they are. A bit like humans. <laughs> now, you were talking about the rabbits. You've also got yes, lots of rabbits yes, here that need yes, to be homing. Yes, yes. Rabbits, again, are difficult to home because people don't want to go out in the winter and clean them. And in fact, they're the most neglected small animal. Rabbits, Gosh, wow. um, and we've had them come in where their teeth are all twisted and oh. overgrown, so they can hardly eat. And they've had claws like spears, you know, where they've just been literally stuck in their hutch, being able to hop, say, two paces, and that is their lives. Gosh. And it's really, really sad. So we insist that they must have a run, you know, a decent hutch, a run and we try to discourage them um, as a child's pet. If an adult comes and they've always had rabbits and they love rabbits, that's fine, and they've got children. But if we get people who say, oh, you know, that my son wants a rabbit, we talk it through with them, and quite often then they'll go, oh, perhaps not, you know. So these little guys... So these are better, better as a child's pet. As long as, again, they're not just left in a, in a hutch. They need to have exercise and stimulation, you know. Excellent. Well, I have loved having little yeah. cuddles with you, but I think they're getting a bit cold now. So yes, I think, yes. Put them back inside yes, their hutch. Yes, go back in Come their Come on, house. then, Bubble okay. and Squeak. In you go. Yeah.